Hi guys, thank you for joining me with Art Sphere today. We are going to be doing another steam experiment um, using oil and water this time, and we are going to watch how um, oil and water and the densities allow them to not mix and actually sit on top of each other, and we're going to use this to our advantage. Um, in making a painting. So what you're going to need for this is um, separate bowls if you're using food dye, so one for each color and I have mine filled with just a little bit of water because I'm not going to use too much of each. And then you're going to need your piece of paper. If you have watercolor paper that would work the best so it's a little thicker but if not it's fine. Um, you also need regular oil, so I have mine here, I'm just using pure canola oil, but um, any kind of oil you have will work because none of them are soluble with water. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in here and set this to the side. And then you're going to need either an eyedropper or a straw, which I'm using if you don't have one, and then a spoon to mix. So what we're going to do is just uh, decide what colors you want to use for this. So I'm going to do green and just do a couple drops in each. And feel free to do as many colors as you want and mix them up. Alright. So I just put a couple drops in each one. And then I'm just going to mix it, make sure that it's good. Alright. You guys can also practice mixing your food dye colors. If you wanted to make purple, you could do blue and red. Um, or yellow and blue to make green if you wanted. So whatever colors you guys want. And then we are going to take um, our eyedropper or our straw. And we're going to take a little bit of oil here. And we're just going to drop it on our paper in small amounts. So now I have drops of oil around. All right. I can hold it up and you can see my paper has oil on it. Next, I'm going to choose one of my colors. So I'm going to start with the lightest one just so we can see it better and do yellow. And I'm going to drop the yellow on top of the um, ones I've made already. As you can see, the oil um, and the water and the food dye is not mixing together. So the oil is on the bottom and the water is on top, but um, the food coloring is now just sitting on top of the oil droplets that we made. So we can also just move this around and see. Um, and then I'm going to do it with another color. I'm going to do it with some green. And then if I want to mix the green and the yellow droplets together, I can do that as well. Just drop a little more. And then we're going to try some red on oil. And then you can add some more oil in different areas. makes kind of an oily wet spot on here when you do it and then your color um, appears on top of the oil because they're not mixable or soluble and it makes a really cool design or pattern of droplets. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to the design or the pattern that I want. It's a, it's a little marbly um, water droplet kind of design. So it's not necessarily a picture, but it's more of just um, a design that you can look at and see how um, water and oil are not soluble together. I'm just going to do it a couple more times. You can do this as many times as you want. My 
my watercolor is also mixing together on the paper as I'm doing this um, because they're mixing together because they are soluble however um, because they're not mixing with the oil it stays on top and so it has room to run together but eventually you guys can see that the watercolor will move to the bottom of the paper um, because water is more dense than oil so it's going to move to the bottom and stain the paper with the color that you have while the oil is going to move to the top so then what you end up with is um, watercolor droplets and areas with oil stains in other areas and they're not going to mix together so it's going to be where they moved around because um, they won't mix together so it's going to dry differently than it would with just watercolor so I'm going to um, show a picture with this in a minute but you can also move it around to see how it's working see what it's doing and then I can just drop the rest of it in here if I'm done and now what I'm left with is um, a bunch of oil spots you can see it better if you're in person but I have a bunch of oil spots that are um, that don't have color in them because they weren't soluble and then I have other areas that are um, just drops of where I dropped the color that show through it in the center um, of the paper in the oil spot that looks really cool um, just because this is how we can see how water and oil are not mixing together. So I hope you guys were able to do this and that it worked out well. I hope you guys were able to experiment and create cool design. Um, if you were, um, please share this with us at info at artsphere.org. Email us or you can tag us at hashtag loveartsphere.org. We would love to see your uh, pictures, your paintings, um, and we love exploring new ways to paint with you guys. So I hope you guys were able to enjoy this and do it. And we would love to see that. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and thank you for joining me again.